Hi, this is Steve from CatSpace. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can change the orientation of a SOLIDWORKS part within SOLIDWORKS. Now why would you need to change the orientation of part in SOLIDWORKS? Well, in SOLIDWORKS you have the vertical component uh, represented, or vertical axis, sorry, by the y-axis. Um, a lot of the uh, software packages actually have the z-axis as the vertical axis. So when you export this part, for example, directly as an STL file and bring it into a pre-processing software for 3D printing, it then brings it, drops the component onto the floor of the 3D printer as shown here, which is not what you want. You can change the orientation of this object in the pre-processing software for the 3D printer by rotating this object within the software that you have. However, you can also do the same thing in SOLIDWORKS and save a bit of time. There are a couple of ways to achieve this. One is to export this part into an assembly. And whilst in assembly, you rotate the component and then save it or export it as an STL file. The others actually use the move copy function while in the part and then save it as an STL file in, in the new orientation. Okay, let's import this into an assembly. Now with uh, the assembly in SOLIDWORKS uh, the first component that you bring in is always fixed as denoted by this F in the open and close bracket. So what you're going to do is to float this object first. So what that allows is, is for the object to be um, floated or unlocked so you can um, move the object around. Okay. So once you float the object, you can come to this button here and we're going to tell the software to rotate this object um, about its x, y, z axis. What we want to do is to make the longitudinal axis of this object coincident with the z axis. So the easiest way to do this is by rotating about the x-axis. Okay, so we're going to rotate this object by 90 degrees. Oops, so we're going to select the object to rotate. Got to hit apply first and then click OK. Alright, so now you see the object with its longitudinal axis uh, in line with the z-axis. You can then save this as an STL file. Okay, the second method is to use the move copy command. So we're just going to switch over to the other model. Um, so this is the original part uh, with the uh, the longitud longitudinal axis in line with the y-axis. Okay, so let me just hide this plane. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the move copy function, which I can never remember where it is. So I tend to use this search command bar here. And I'm just going to activate that function. And once you're in the move copy body dialog box, I'm going to select the body to move and what I want to do is I would like the top surface of the object to be coincident with the front plane. Okay, And it moves the components as shown here except this is in the wrong direction. So I'm going to flip the alignment and we have the longitudinal axis of this object 
in line with the z-axis. I can then just save this part if I wish and then export it as a STL file to bring into bring it into the 3D printer. Thanks for watching and if you have any other inquiries uh, feel free to just contact us uh, these details shown here.